Today, I'm gonna to be taking you on a journey, a journey of how we created your 365 coach and our own IT consultancy company. So yes, it won't be a tutorial on how to use Microsoft Teams, but rather looking at some of the lessons that I learned along the way in my own journey that really helped me and will also help you if you're considering a future change or need some inspiration to do something different because this journey wasn't so easy. And there's a huge amount of lessons I can share with you that you can use for your own inspiration. And before we dive in, I'd love it, hit that subscribe button and like this video to let me know that you've also enjoyed it. That will really help this channel continue to grow and also ensure that more people can use our tutorials to do better with the tools they already have. So let's go back over a decade where I was working in roles that were not associated to IT. And in those roles, I constantly found I was struggling against the IT demands, raising service desk tickets, awaiting replies, and ultimately becoming frustrated because we didn't get training on how to use all the systems that were super important to us in our role. Ultimately, I didn't feel very productive inside of my role if I was just trying to use Google to try and find all the right answers. I did feel that something could be changed, things could be better, and I decided in my evenings I would retrain and try and get a job in the IT teams to work out what I could do to improve those overall services. And over many years, I retrained on the evenings, going to night school, and was able to then have a college education in the world of technology. I then found my first IT role and found out that it wasn't what I originally thought. Because in the IT team, those processes are really important about raising service desk tickets and so forth. But there's also a huge consideration that those teams need to keep systems up and running. It's a challenge for them to provide training and also support on lots of systems to lots of people. And one of my first systems that I began working with was Microsoft SharePoint. Yes, a lot of people would think of SharePoint being SarePoint because it is pretty scary with the capabilities it delivers. But that was a great example of learning a technology that I could then help the team that I was working with in projects to get more from SharePoint in how they're gonna manage documents and manage their projects. And that learning led me to believe that Microsoft tools weren't so bad, but actually what I would need to do is understand them better and share it with my internal team by creating videos and more content to help them use the tools in better ways. So as part of my consulting career in IT teams, I also had, had a dream. I'd love to create my own IT company that I could actually go and help other people around the world with these challenges. But one big problem still remained, capital or also equity. I didn't have much money in the bank to go and start my own IT company. So what on earth was I going to do? Well, for many years, that just remained a dream. But then something happened. Back in 2018, unfortunately, our house was struck by a severe flood. It was one of those events where the heavens opened, and the rains came down, and it was a once in a lifetime event. Unfortunately, it destroyed our house, our belongings, and we were left with nothing. In 20 minutes, we went from living in our own house with all of the good things you would expect, to then living on my parents' floor with my family and in considering what on earth the future looked like. Now at that point, I could consider, well, what do we do next? Because there was then the opportunity to use some of those funds from our insurance company to either reinvest on the equipment that I'd lost in that flood, or I could use it as capital or equity to start our own business, or even consider going to Disneyland. And whilst Disneyland seemed so much better than creating an IT company, we took the decision that it was right now to start our own company up. So back in 2018, we started our IT consultancy company that was meant to help people around the world in Microsoft 365 solutions. And of course, leverage all of that knowledge I'd picked up over the years dealing with SharePoint and other systems. But of course came COVID. And in COVID, there wasn't much money businesses were spending when it comes to IT but luckily managed to scrape through that period of time because most people like ourselves were not going out, it meant our costs were lower and we just about managed to get through that process. And as we came out of COVID, well, there was that big question, 
how could I go and speak to more people and tell them what we could do for them around Microsoft 365? And for most customers I dealt with, especially in the consulting world, I found the same similar challenges. People just didn't know how to use the apps that they already had. And how could I really help them on that journey? But that came with a big question. I was asked a couple of years ago, would I do anything on social media? My answer was a swift no. I didn't want to go on video. I didn't want to record any content, maybe from the fear that people just wouldn't like the content. And I didn't really want to go through that whole experience. But with the emergence of TikTok, I thought it'd be a great chance to record a quick video, no longer than 60 seconds and put it out to the world. And if it didn't work out, well, I'd just click on delete and pretend it never happened. And I bet you're wondering, well, what does the first video look like? Well, here it is. So if you had that issue, we've created a brilliant Word document. We've shared it with your peers, your line manager, and they've asked you to bring it to the next team meeting and present it. Word documents don't work too well when you're sharing the screen and sharing content. Everyone will just read the content. Yes, you may think that video has been recorded on a 90s camcorder or played back on VHS. But no, it was just the equipment I using wasn't the greatest when it comes to the equipment that I now use to create that content. But why on earth did I continue past that video? Well, looking back at TikTok, that video's had over 40,000 plays and 700 likes. And people were actually really pleased with me going out my way to help them. I didn't achieve anything for that video, but actually what I achieved in the background is I felt proud of helping people learn technology to help them in their roles and become more productive so they could do the things that was important to them. Yes, it would take me a long time to edit those videos, but they had much bigger impact than what I would ever perceive when I was recording it itself. So I carried on doing more and more TikTok videos, sending them out to the world and then looking what came back and it was all positive. Learning people these skills was helping them in their day-to-day -day roles. Once again, I wasn't earning anything from those videos, but mainly knowing that helping people was an all-important position that I thought was fantastic. But there was still one mountain left to climb, YouTube. Now I was looking at YouTube and I would love to have done content on it, but it felt like the next level. 60 second shorts on TikTok, was not the same as doing full tutorials on YouTube. So once again, I decided to go ahead and go and create some content for YouTube. In fact, if you go right back to my first video on this channel, you'll notice that I'm not on the video. I suffered from the same anxiety I had on TikTok that I wouldn't put my own video feed and instead I just done a voiceover. But once again, it was well received and I realized I didn't have much to worry about. It was time to bring my face onto these videos and meet you in person. And that's exactly what I did. We began to create content every week, focused on these tutorials, focused on trying to improve the way that you work. And they've been really well received. We now have over 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, over 2 million video views in less than a year. And even on TikTok, we have over 20,000 subscribers as well. So we've done pretty well in terms of our overall subscribers. But ultimately, well, it all goes back to the center vision I had all that time ago. When I was working not in IT teams, I believed that I just needed a helping hand. That's what every one of our videos is dedicated to do, help you in the way that you work. And also, well, so far as you've heard of my own story, if you're also dreaming of a change or need inspiration to do something differently, what I have realized over these years of doing the social media channels and building the company is that you should believe in yourself. No doubt you've got the skills already to do that. It took for us something that changed our life forever. By losing everything, we realized we could do something better and it was a great opportunity to click the reset button. So if you're thinking of that change in the future, go ahead and get it done. You can have the confidence, you can gain the skills and ultimately take that jump that's what we did here. Now I look back at the social channels that we've created and know that across all of the content we have created for people, ultimately it's helped them in their roles become more productive and that's the best thing about our content. And that's why I spend hours every week creating more content to help you. So I hope that this short journey and how we started our channels up 
our business and some of the challenges that I went through personally have helped you and will help you on your future journey too. And of course, if you've liked this, please hit that like button and let me know and hit that subscribe button. Or even drop me a comment to let me know what you think of the journey and if our content has helped you too, because it always helps with building out our channel and also taking it to the next level. And well, what comes next? Well, it's more of the same. I'm gonna keep creating content videos that help you, focused on the latest technologies inside of Microsoft 365, so you'll never be alone when it comes to that. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.